Hi, my name is Alex with 8 Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create stories, tasks, bugs, or subtasks in Jira, and then how to associate them either back up to their parent or back up to the Epic. If you haven't checked out my last couple of videos on how to do everything related to Epics or what a story is, please make sure you go and check out those videos as they're going to contain a lot of useful information that we're going to use in this video. If you haven't already also, please make sure you subscribe to this video, please make sure you drop a like, and if you have any questions about anything, or you just want to be super awesome and leave a comment below for the algorithm, that is also totally fine as well. Let's jump into Jira and see how to create these stories. Okay, so here we are back in Jira. We are in the roadmap view, which is where we left off a couple of videos ago. And I'm basically going to teach you a few different techniques or different ways of creating stories or tasks or bugs and associating them back up to the epic. And then as an added bonus, I'm gonna teach you how to create a subtask and associate it to the parent. Now you'll notice that I'm using parent because that's just the terminology that Jira uses. In this roadmap view, this is probably the easiest way of creating a story and associating it back up to the epic because there's really no associating needed, at least not manually. It all happens autonomously. So in this view, you're gonna to wanna to go to the Epic, specifically in the roadmap, and there's a little plus sign. So if you click on that plus sign, you'll see create child issue of. So if I click on that, it automatically defaults you back down to a story, and you can click on this, and, and this is how you would differentiate between am I creating a story, a task, or a bug. And so pick the one you want, and I'm gonna create an airplane part, uh, and I'm gonna say need a landing gear mechanism. And that's it. You'll notice that the story is nested underneath the epic, which is really key. This tells you that the epic now has a child and that child now has a parent relationship back up to that epic. Most importantly, let me show you what got created here. The epic name, if you remember from my video on epics, the epic name is defined here. If I go to the story, you will notice that the epic name is not there, but instead we have an epic link. And this epic link is critical. This epic link is the epic name from the epic and that those two fields are what create these relationships in Jira. So now these two issues are associated. Now I do want to mention one thing. If you're using Jira and you're in a team managed project, you're not going to find this. And the way Atlassian or the way Jira does epic and child relationships there, it, it's like very confusing to me. So I don't know how they do it, but in a company managed project, which is the type of project you want to be in and you can see down here which one you're in because this will say company or team this is the way it should work this is the way you want to be doing it at least for now until at last and changes things but yeah this epic link is super super critical to establishing that relationship so that's one way let's jump into a second way of doing this so another way of doing it and there's going to be a lot of ways so make sure you're subscribed make sure you drop a like because there's a lot of ton of value coming your way here if you're in your backlog maybe you're going to create a story here that says need i don't know nose gear for aircraft okay you'll notice that this uh story is without an epic there is no association so you can from here you can do one of two things you can either do what i like to do just because i like drag and dropping but you can grab your epic which is create the airplane part and you can just grab this one drag and, and drop it you'll notice this little green outline you drop that there and now we have the association between the story if i open up the story at11 you'll notice that that epic link is filled out and let me just make another story just so you can see i uh, need tail gear for aircraft and so i'll open this story up i'll open up this uh, att12 You'll notice that the epic link is nowhere to be found. It's actually all the way down here, and you'll notice it says none. So if I drag and drop it, it will auto populate it. However, since I'm here, this brings us to way number three of creating or associating your story to the epic. And you can actually come in here into epic link, and you can just click into it and go and find your epic. So this is ATT9, which is the same air, um, which is the same epic here. So you just click on it, and that will automatically link your epic to your story so that's way number three if you're keeping track at home and there is a fourth way and that is then technically a fifth way but um, we won't talk about that one but 
The fourth way of doing it is if you go into the epic, so I just open up the actual epic itself. Actually, there's maybe <laughs> maybe there's a couple more ways then. Um, you can just click on this create issues in epic button and this will create, and for some reason this defaults to a task, so just be mindful of what that is. But now I can say, uh, need to create wings for aircraft. I'm running out of airplane parts, I think, right? And so you'll notice that this now gets created. Now, a couple of things to note is the assignee is assigned, unassigned here in this method. You'll notice that the other methods inherited the assignee, but this one didn't. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So that's really the only difference. You'll notice that the epic link is created there. Now, the other way then is that I was telling you is to, you don't have to hit the create button here. You can actually just come and click the little plus button. And when you click on the little plus button, Again, default to a task, change it to a story, change it to whatever you want it to be. Uh, and then you can put need to create body of aircraft. And when you do that, again, same thing's happening here. We got the association of the epic. If I open it up, the epic link is created. The assignee is happening all autonomously here. And so those are five different ways. There is a sixth way. There's a really a seventh way as well. I'll honorably mention that in the plans capability, there is uh, another way of doing this, uh, very powerful stuff, much more advanced, so not really within the scope of this video. But if you want to know how to use plans, please let me know in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to make dedicated videos on just that. But for now, these are the five or six different ways. I lost track because there's just so many different ways of doing this. Five or six different ways of associating your story to an epic now one little bonus that i want to add here is when you're in a company managed project you're allowed to create stories from other projects so you're not limited to the epic and the stories need to live in the same project as in the same team so if you have different jira projects for different technical teams and they need to collaborate an epic can only live in one place in one jira project However, the stories can come from anywhere. And the way you would want to associate that story to this epic would be to go only through opening the story and clicking on that epic link. So if you do that, that will associate an, a story from another Jira project to this particular epic. So that's really powerful. Let me show you what that looks like real quickly. Again, so I'm going to have ATT9 and I'm just going to jump into another project. I'm going to go into this a demo project here. I'm going to have a story. I'm just going to pick one of these stories that I have. Um, this one, this one right here doesn't have an ep ep epic associated to it. So I'm going to come down to the epic link and I'm going to type in ATT-9. And you'll notice that um, it found it, even though I'm in the DP project, demonstration project. But now when I go to AT9 by clicking here, and I'm going to just click on it so it makes it big, you'll notice that I have most of my stories in the ATT project, but I do have that one DP project. So this is allowed and you can do this, but only if you're in a company managed project. So if you're in a team managed, you're out of luck there. You, your stories have to be in our containment only. And so I will be creating a video on why I hate team managed projects. That's going to be coming soon. So if you're interested in that, again, drop a like, make sure you subscribe to this video channel. And if you have any questions about anything, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.